this wall obsolete. Good evening, everyone. Hope your day's been going well. For some people in East Germany, their day is going great. East Germany is telling its citizens, if you want to go, you can. You see, it's a historic time in that country. The company's communist leadership today essentially threw open the nation's borders to allow thousands of people the freedom to travel to the West. The decision came as a surprise to many and could have far-reaching effects. And joining us now is Jürgen Reinhold, who came to the U.S. 12 years ago. Thank you for coming down here tonight to talk with us here. You spoke with your family in East Germany uh, this morning, in fact. You yes. had the relatives there. Yes, my, uh, both my mom and dad and my two brothers are in Frankfurt. And uh, I do need to say that there's quite a panic in the country of East Germany at this very point. Um, they've been locked up since 1961 of August, of course, when the Berlin Wall was built. Mm -hmm. And this is an opportunity for them to get out. And uh, they're just simply not buying uh, the, the reforms and uh, what... Um, Egon Krenz, the new president of East Germany, of course, is promising. Uh, the East German people in particular uh, are really striving and looking to live in the West because of the lifestyle difference, mm -hmm. and even if there would be uh, free elections, I'm afraid that all the people, and that's now 10,000 uh, uh, people uh, a day that are fleeing East Germany to West Germany will remain in, in the West. And it's putting quite a strain on the West German people and the West German government. Um, they're they're, they're definitely welcoming them with open arms and there's not, not a family that has not been affected mm -hmm. by um, the separation between East and West and with the building of the wall, of course, in 1961. I understand President Bush is taking kind of a low-key approach to some of this, saying, you know, if the wall uh, is open, it could close just as quickly, and I guess a lot of That's people right. are taking that same position. That's exactly right. That's why I think we're, gonna, we're, we're just going to see, this is just the beginning, what I really believe, of, of the exodus. Uh, from the East to the West. Um, as you may remember, between 1948 and 1961, during that period of time, there were over 1.5 million East Germans that went through East Berlin to West Berlin to, to escape to the West. And there's, again, there's just no substitute for freedom. Uh, you give people a chance to get out, they're not going to wait around, they're going to get out. Exactly right. You had your chance to, well, of course you were from the West. I was from Frankfurt, yes, sir. Amazing thing. We'll keep us posted. I guess it's changing hourly over there. Every hour, that's right. But it's absolutely incredible. Um, even uh, the experts, in, you know, just a year ago in their wildest dreams, they would have never imagined that something like this today would be taking place. It's quite a historic moment. Thank you very much, Jürgen, for being with us today. It's great to have that perspective.